I'm Lauren. I'm the Region 9 Director, uh, and I work for Camp Quality Canada out of Toronto, Ontario as the Senior Director of Programs. Um, we've got Facebook and Instagram that we use regularly, so you can find us there. Um, on Instagram, we're at CQ Canada, and then on Facebook, it's at Camp Quality Canada. Um, so we've started our CQ Campin program, bringing camp uh, to all of our families at home. Um, and it is kind of in its early stages right now, but uh, we're doing different things like posting uh, arts and crafts activities or science experiments um, or all camp games uh, and kind of campfire uh, challenges uh, on our, our Facebook and Instagram. Um, so it's a way for us to still connect to our community and have people engage uh, by completing the task and showing it to us or um, challenging another person to do it, that kind of thing. Things that we've already had, uh, program supplies that were you know, around the office. Um, I did buy one of those influencer ring lights to record videos. Um, so I'm living my best life using that. Um, and I highly recommend it to anybody else. It's been a huge help in making some videos, which is great. Um, yeah, but other than that, just like some small arts and crafts supplies from Amazon, but nothing too much yet. Um, we've got a blog uh, at campquality.org, um, and I think it's slash camp in, um, and uh, all the activities that we've posted on our social media are also on the blog with a full tutorial um, of the instructions, um, so the materials that anyone would need at home, and then step by step walking you through it. Um, and then we've tried to make videos for most of those tutorials as well to kind of go along with it. So right now we're kind of just doing it part-time, but we're hoping in May to get it kind of going full-time Monday to Friday um, with you know, our national office and then all of our camps across Canada. Um, and the biggest one is that we just wanna create a place for a community um, within our camps. Um, that's the biggest thing that people are missing going into this summer is that we won't have a chance to be together in person. So um, as long as the activities have, you know, some component where people are connecting with each other, whether it's just in a message or in Zoom or on Facebook, then I think that's the biggest thing for us. Um, but we also are still including kind of our program outcomes that we would have in a typical summer program. So connectedness, uh, mastering autonomy. So we want to make sure that kids are still learning from the activities that we're putting up. So they're, you know, fun, but also um, helping develop the skills we want them to, to learn. Um, I think some ones we're kind of still working through are um, the accessibility piece. So we have families who are in northern communities uh, in Canada who don't have, you know, typical access to computers or Wi-Fi. So we want to come up with ways that we can still engage those families and make them feel a part of the community. So we're going to do some mail out activities over the coming months um, to keep them engaged. Um, you know, thinking about like language or different abilities of campers and how they can still participate. So if we have volunteers who, you know, are bilingual, can we get them to help lead some of these programs in French or something like that um, to make it more accessible. Um, and then another big kind of thing we've been looking at is internet safety. And I think that's something all the camps are probably talking about uh, quite a lot right now. Um, how are we training our volunteers and preparing the camper families um, to, to understand kind of the safety when they're participating in these. So that's just kind of some of the barriers and challenges we're working with right now. Right now, it's been um, a lot of volunteers who have been engaging in the posts. Um, we have an e-blast that will be going out to families um, with a schedule um, coming up uh, in the next week or so, just to kind of mind let them schedule their lives, um, just because we know that, that caregivers are trying to balance so many things right now at home on top of you know, having their kids participate in camp programs virtually. So um, if we can give them some of those things ahead of time, then I think we'll see a, a larger following with that. 
I think be consistent in what you're posting. So we've kind of decided a theme for each day so that, you know, campers and families can know that Friday is Campfire Friday or Thursday is all camp games, that type of thing to make it consistent so they can know when to tune in for those things. Um, but I'd also just say like reach out to the other camps in your region or in the COCA community um, because we don't all have to develop this from scratch. We can lean on each other to collaborate and work together on creating these programs. Um, yeah. Um, they can email me at lauren at campquality.org um, or give me a call at 416-406-2267.